Hey everybody, I hope you're doing well today. I wanted to show you something uh, quickly about scales and how they work in a song, okay? So we have our G major scale. I'm just going to play it um, using the second scale that I gave you, the three open strings, G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G, okay? So that, uh, that scale there, you go... Um, Within the, that scale, the notes, G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G, okay? Those notes are in our songs, okay? So let's take Oh Susanna, for instance. Oh, and real quick, uh, if you don't know about Patreon, check the link below. It's where you can go to help support what I do here at Banjo Lemonade. You get a lot of extras like tabs and behind the scenes footage and early release videos. And watch what notes I play. That's an open second string. Open third string. Open first string. Open second string. Open third string. Every one of those notes are in the G scale. another note you can hear when we go out so if you've been practicing that scale you hear those notes you can hear that those notes are not in our regular G scale showed you that scale up here too. It's the same notes, okay? Now, um, you find your notes to a song within that scale, okay? to get into too much music theory and knowing the note names and all that you don't really have to do that as long as you can hear it um, so when you're trying to learn a song by ear you can do a lot if you'll just think about as you know you can find those exact notes all up and down the fretboard okay so don't think you're locked into that one little spot there or even that second position that I had you in you know I had you in this one and then this one um, they're all up here too, okay? But just keep that all in mind when you're picking out songs by ear. That, um... Your notes are going to be within your scale, okay? So, you know, I like to pick them out. I don't really think about scales, per se. I pick it out by ear. But really, if we break it down to the, you know, bare bones of it, I'm sort of doing it by the scale, but just by ear. I'm not thinking of it that way, but that's what I'm doing. Um, so the notes that I look for, um, you know, are there. So like I could get it here on the third fret. That's my same D as, as the first fret open. Hear that? So, we can do things within that, okay? So if I know that I'm getting a, a D there, open, first string, and it's the same thing there at the third string, third fret, why don't I just go like this? Uh, why don't I just slide it from the second to the third? Okay, so, um, I just,
just want you to sort of think about these things as a as an advanced beginner, early intermediate, as you're playing by ear. You need to uh, you can find your notes within your scales. Um, to some of you, this is going to be like totally Greek, and you're going to be going, Mandy, this is no help to me. Others, it's going to be like a light bulb went off. And, um, you know, for me, I'm that kind where I'm the first kind. I'm like, uh, you just said a whole bunch of A, B, C's, and D's, and that didn't make too much sense to me. But this is what makes sense to me there, okay? So you have to pick and choose the things that work for you uh, when you're learning these things. So, but everybody should try to pick things out by ear sometimes too okay so i wanted to do that quick little um video there to show you that scale and how um your songs can be found within it okay and like chords can be found within it too like our d7 chord those three notes are all in our g scale right see how that makes a D7 chord. A D chord, for instance, is an A, a D, and an F sharp. Those are all in our G scale, our G major scale. Just start thinking about those things, and you know, if it if it bothers you or uh, worries you too much about it, don't worry about it. You don't have to know all this. You can just play. You know, but it can help you. So I hope you took something out of this video and got a little something out of it anyway. Um, and again, you could have been one of those people that it was like a light bulb and you're going, wow, this is so cool, light bulb, light bulb, light bulb. Um, or you're like, okay. All right, hope you enjoyed that, got something out of it. Before I go, I always wanna remind you that Jesus loves you. If you enjoy these lessons and would like to give back, go ahead and check the Patreon link below. It's, <laughs> oh, my dog is sneezing a hundred times. You okay, baby? Oh, are you okay? Oh, no. You all right? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, baby. Oh, she got something for her nose. <laughs>